Today, I want to give you one of the most unstoppable moves in the game of basketball. I know you probably hear that all the time, but if you understand the ability of being able to shoot and you're a decent shooter, this right here can be one of the most underrated moves, but one of the moves you see a lot in the game of basketball if you break it down. Today, we're going to break it down into the small nuances. So I want us to grasp each and every concept so we can become more efficient score and also one of the best scores at your level if you want to be that. Something you don't want to miss. You're all right, no man, let's get it. All right, to start off here, it seems basic, but I see a lot of players don't really grasp or understand the concept of when they dribble, that back foot kind of twitching, right? Really selling my drive. So it's gonna be important to have just that twitch or that jerk, but also that shoulder being able to get low. And then third, my body looking like it's going forward. So my, my body placement with my arm and my hands as well. So we have foot, we have shoulder, and then my full body look like it's going forward. So first, we're just gonna take two dribbles every time. One, two, and we're going right back. Really notice how I'm pushing off that back foot. I come to a, a relaxed state, and then it starts to get a little, a little bit more aggressive. Notice also the ball gets to my pocket every time. I'm not keeping it exposed. It's exposed now, and once I dig that foot in the floor, now it shoots back to that pocket right here. So being able to get more in this drop stance, have that back foot, being able to sell my drive. So we understand, once I get in this stance, if I'm able to drive, I want us to go. If I'm quicker than that defender, if I'm able to get lower than that defender, um, I'm just gonna keep things simple and drive right at the defender's hip or right at his thigh. It's not about this, it's not about that. The game of basketball is about levels of low. If I can get lower than that defender, I'm gonna have a higher chance of being able to get by him. So every time now, I'm thinking low, so I wanna be able to drop that left shoulder, or that right shoulder now here, ball is outside my frame, and as soon as this foot steps up, I'm picking that ball up. So these are gonna be just reps right now. Again, the feel of my drive, stepping into it. I want your body to lift. We're not gonna release yet, but every second dribble, I go from that low to high. And I also go from that slow to sell that drive. Make sure your hand placement is right where you want it to be for your shot. And we switch sides, changing those cadences up, but also changing that level of low each and every time. Push off that foot, make sure my stance is wide. I'm not skinny. I'm visualizing the defender in front of me so that foot's gotta be outside of his frame, stepping right into it for my shot. This is gonna be really important with my timing. I don't wanna carry the ball. So really, every second dribble, I'm stepping into it. Right now, it's looking like my drive. Now it looks like my shot. Then I'm gonna turn and step. So timing is really important once again. And once again, also that wrist staying on the side of the ball. So I step, pause, turn and go, all right? We can switch. Notice the pause. Watch how the ball's not carrying. Boom. There's just a quick little glitch as I stop. Drive. Boom. Fake that shot. And then drive again. If you're a shooter, that defender might lift. Boom. Then I'm able to explode by him. It's all about digging that last step in. So when I go, I sell the drive. Once this foot, it digs digs in the floor almost the same time as that hand, and then I turn to explode. Next part, same. I take that dribble, I sell my drive, I'm here. Now that defender jumps or he lifts, and I'm pushing the ball over my knee. A lot of guys have a low cross. That's too time consuming, because I have to wait for the ball to move before my knee goes. If it's too much towards the same time, that knee or that foot is gonna kick the ball, and that's a turnover. So I have to step into it here, boom, push it over, and then be able to explode. But as I told you at the beginning, everything is important with the shot. Are you, are you the person that can be a threat off the dribble, pulling up from deep? That quick pause, putting the ball down, then exploding. Putting the ball down, then exploding. When I have that pause, also one of the most important parts, chin and eyes to the rim. Get them up. I'm looking right at the defender. I'm scanning where the gaps are. My chin and eyes go up, that little head fake, and then I explode. Last one now, once again, I step into it. I can't turn and go. I can't have just that push cross. Maybe the defender's a little longer. Maybe the defender's more athletic, so I have to go through the legs. So everything we just talked about is gonna be really important. Here, sail, chin and eyes up. My hand mirrors that ball, then I'm going through. And when I go through, make sure my shoulder is here. My shoulder and back aren't just straight up because now I can hit that defender right at him and whoever's stronger is going to win. Hard part for you guys at home is that last step. 
getting it to hit the floor. Get that last step to hit the floor. Watch my right foot here. Hit, boom, and then through. Sell the drive, hit, boom, and then through. Out of this, you can have fun with it because now the game of basketball is all reacting. But once I step in here, as soon as I go through, I notice he's still on me again. I can get into a crossover as well. So an extra little gym. Boom. I can turn and cross, turn and cross over, just depending on how your reactions are and how your handle is. Sell it, turn and cross. Those are some really fun options to get out of it, out of that hesitation, but making sure you understand that dribble, sell that drive into my pull up, and then three to four options out of it as well. So more important, am I a driver, right? Am I a driver? Can I get to the basket and the score? Number two. Am I a shot threat? Does that defender really have to guard me from outside? Now we worked on, am I able to have skill to sell it? When we think about these two players here, Steph Curry, Trey Young, and Luka Doncic, Right, they're very different, but they're very similar. They're able to shoot the ball very respectively. You have to guard them. And then number two, they're able to drive. You have to guard them on their drives. They're able to finish with left or right hand. So this workout right here, this routine, is very, very important to understand and grasp the concept because if you can get your set shots and get your pull-ups and then be a respectable guy and be able to drive, this right here is perfect for you. You'll be probably one of the most unguardable players out here because you're able to pull up you understand the sell your drive and then you understand your setups out of that with your counters as well. Making sure you're able to do it just as well right, just as well left. If you wanna see more workouts like this, make sure you click the link below because in, in our app right now, we have a lot of workouts that can help, help you become a better basketball player. Make sure you like, subscribe, also hit that bell notification so you can see each and every upload. It's Coach Marcus Hodges, you already know. Check the range out here. Let's get it. Oh!